Welcome back, everybody, to the sometimes I'm a professional, sometimes I'm an amateur goalie. Uh, but I am being that, so I'm living up to the, the mode's name still. Uh, right now, our team is 5-4-0, which is not great. Uh, but, yeah, it's okay. We are still very early in the season, so we don't really have to worry too much just yet. And I will once again show you guys the lines, just so that we kind of know what's going on here. Is there comments still on the screen? Probably not at this point. Maybe. Regardless, I'm going to show you the lines anyway. So we got Nuge at 88, uh, McDavid 96, and Yamamoto at 86. Uh, Pliarvi, Dreisaitl, and Druen. Great second line there. I don't know why, but this guy's just not producing. He's got three points in nine games. Um, and then we have Dano, Hyman, and Barabanov, which is a very good third line. And then Fogel, McLeod, and Tennis. As our fourth line on defense, we got Nurse and Barry, uh, Bouchard, Giordano, Hall, and Graves. And in net, we have yours truly, TJ, and I guess Pavel got injured, maybe? That's weird. All right. Say less. Anyway, um, yeah, let's do this thing. So we got Tampa Bay here, who is 3-3-2. Three, three, and two. Hopefully, we can take home a W. First period. Boom. That's all right. Second period. That's all right. Let's jump into this one. It is a 1-1 hockey game, so a tied situation heading in to the final period of play. Here we go. Right off the hop, we're going to get a power play too, which is splendid. Nice. I will certainly take that. Hopefully we get some free team play out of it as well, but if we score right off the faceoff, I won't be upset. So, you know, there's a, a lot of potential good outcomes here. And let's see if we get any of them. Faceoff. In the Tampa Bay zone, I'm assuming they still have Vasilevsky. It doesn't really seem like there's been as many crazy trades going on in this Be a Pro as there was in my previous one. If he got that pass off back door, holy, that would have been immaculate and pretty much a guaranteed goal. I'll send that over to you. Pool party goes across to Bouchard. All right. Deneau is going to get drilled, but he stays upright. And now Druen has it, who is also going to get drilled. He will not stay upright, and that is the definition of a yard sale. His equipment is everywhere. What a hit. That was brutal. Sorelli gets it over to Lars Eller, and that will be saved by the blocker of TJ. I still almost say Tino Manny a lot. <laughs> like, a lot, a lot. And I have to really think about it for a second, and I'm like, nope. Not the name. Well, that definitely wasn't the best power play that we could have had. Didn't get a ton of chances. And didn't even really have any close calls. But they had a good opportunity. Nice. Oh, man. We almost did it right out of the power play. Which I still would have been fine with. Goal's a goal. I'll take them wherever they come. Kucherov is in. He gets the X-Factor shot. But that is light work for TJ. Now Kucherov tries it again. I gave him that whole side of the net by sliding too far. So if he didn't shoot it where I was, guaranteed goal just like that, baby. Drysaddle shoots it past the defense. Low blocky. And that will put Edmonton up by one here in the third period. Great shot. Look at this. He's like, okay, they're backing up, giving me room. Just going to rip one through them. And he sure did. And then <laughs> their player comes in and headbutts their goalie incredible stuff and we're getting another power play this is a what a third period so far we are buzzing at the moment yeah another man advantage here for us and we have the goal advantage now as well we're up to one so things are looking good here in period numero trois the draw is won by tampa bay however and headman decides he's going to try to carry it out for some reason they are, like, refusing to dump this puck down. Eller's going to take a shot, try to go five-hole, the cheeky lad. But no, that will be redirected aside by TJ. And not a great rush there from Edmonton. So now Tampa Bay has it once again, but a good back check from Edmonton. I will give credit where it's due in that regard. That power play was a little bit better. We got a few chances, but still nothing crazy, you know? Like, there wasn't any immaculate saves from Vasilevsky or anything so hopefully we can work on our power play a little bit and maybe step our game up but we do still have the one goal lead right now which is nice 
And hopefully we can keep it that way. Or if you want to make it more, then I am so down. So we could do that as well. All right. I'm sort of lenient in that regard. If you guys want to go get more goals, you're not going to hear a peep out of me. Monahan takes a shot. And that will be a blocker to side. Oh, no. Not behind the net. Not behind the net. Kucherov gets it to Zadorov. That almost plinkoed its way to the net. But it ended up being stopped short. And now Nuge is in for the Oilers. Goes for a pass in the middle. And they really clogged up the middle. That was all five Tampa Bay players in one small area. There's a, a Sui pass. <laughs> and he got dropped. Still not as bad as... Who was it on our team that got yard sale? I can't even remember now. But yeah, that was a, that was a brutal hit. Just equipment flying everywhere. No way he gets through that. Still make the save, though, and then our defense, or that's not even a defense, that's Yamamoto. He's just doing nothing with the puck except bouncing back and forth right in front of the net, which was very risky, but he did end up getting it out, and then he makes that pass over as well, the one-timer, but it's no goal. Vasilevsky will stop that one. That was, that, wow, that was very different. <laughs> Extremely unique play there. A toe drag dump in from the point. I, have I ever seen that before? I don't know if I have. That was certainly something to throw my brain through a loop, for sure. Hyman with it, goes to take a shot, and that will hit the defenseman. Bounces to Nuge in front, who goes a five-hole. Two-goal lead. That is great news. Anthony Sorelli is in. He takes a clapper just wide of the net there. Radko. Oh, my. They have some good passing going on here. This is... A little intimidating, I'm not going to lie. Nice, Barry. He shut that down quick. Passes it over to Nurse, who gets it up. But we are still trapped in our zone here. Nice, finally got it out. And that will be handed off to Nurse. Cross ice to Hyman, who goes cross ice again. A lot of horizontal hockey happening here. But the puck will find its way into the Tampa Bay zone. However, they have possession of it, not us. Sorelli back in again. He goes across. What a mitten save. Get out of my face, sir. Nice try with your little cross crease action. I saw it coming from a mile away. Get out of here. No, they won the draw. They actually won it. He ripped that thing. Holy smokes, what a shot. I doubt we're going to get a replay. Yo, those Tampa Bay jerseys were sick. Uh, yeah, we're probably not going to get one. So I'm probably going to have to do it myself. Mm-hmm. What the heck was that? All right, instant replay. I just want to see where he ripped this on me. Because that was... I don't even think my positioning was bad. I think he just straight up... Yeah, like, just a good shot. Wait, what? No way. What? There's no way. Are you absolutely kidding me? Hold on. Did it... Just like... It literally slid under my blocker. Oh, wow. That is incredible. Okay, well, I don't even feel bad about that one. Brian Russ goes in the middle. Oh my, don't you dare. No, mm-mm, mm-mm. Thank you, defenseman, for helping me out there. That was scary. Puck was just trying any way it could to get in the back of our net. And we are only up by one now. So if they do get one, it's going to be tie hockey again, which I am not in for. No, I am not in favor of that. So let's avoid... If possible, we have another power play. Beautiful. That is good. And there's only 2 minutes and 50 seconds remaining. Very good. Let's see if the boys can get anything going on this power play. Pass to Nuge. That will be stopped. The rebound was almost picked up. I feel like we finally have our good power play line out. Normally we don't, but we have Dreisaitl, McDavid, and Nuge out on the ice right now. That shot was... Weird. I'm not sure if it hit the defenseman or if something went on as he took the shot with the defenseman. They just sort of made it skip in a hop there. But regardless, it was what it was. And now we have a four on four because we just took one. Not good. And in about, I believe, 20 seconds, 23, they will have a power play in the final minute. That is terrifying. Okay. Noted. They almost had another point shot off the draw. I don't think that one would have gone in because it seemed to be not as, not only precise, but also not as fast. So that would have been a lot easier to stop. 
Victor Hedman is gonna rip one. Holy. What a mad lad. Walks in, stops up, thinks about it for a second, and he's like, you know what? Screw this. I am just sending this puck towards the net. And he followed through. Stamkos skates it right into Barry. Atta boy. Nice. 30 seconds to go. We have the one goal lead, but we are going to be on the PK for the remainder of this game. As long as they don't score. <laughs> Which, you know, obviously, I am hoping for that. No way. Nice save. Are you kidding me? That was intense. All right. 12 seconds. Not a lot of time here for Tampa Bay, but they are back on one final attack. Point is in. He gets it somehow. I'm smothering it. No, mm -mm. I'm not passing that out. If I got scored on by something like that, would have been fuming. Absolutely fuming. So I decided it's probably best that I do not let go of that puck. 2.6 remaining here. And we finally get the draw win. That will not wrap it up. Oh, I thought they were going to get another shot there. But nope, not enough time. A nice W for your Edmonton Oilers. How many shots did they end up having? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great performance. And greens all around yet again. Mr. Chabolski. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Hmm, young man? <laughs> he sure does. The Lightning played a game against the Oilers. That's, that's a fact. A that is true. Run. Very true the statement, Cats James. looking to steal two against the Kraken. Seattle tapped into another gear late, and they pick up the victory. Mm-hmm. I wonder if it's, like, even accurate. You know, like, did they do that, or were they just dominating Great the whole game? To be on the couch and watching hockey. Phenomenal night to be on the couch. The, Let's take a look the at what Rangers, eh? The Blue Jackets were hoping to come up with two points First on the road period. against the Bruins. Columbus Second period. Ooh, okay, we're jumping into this one and simming four games. I don't care. The Maple Leafs went toe-to-toe -to -toe on the road against the Stars. Toronto tore it up offensively on a night it seemed like everybody was scoring. The Ducks were hoping to quiet the crowd on the road against the Kings. Hmm. Los Angeles plays pad the stat hmm. night with a strong offensive performance. Don't go anywhere. Oh, we got the much more here on the show. Statue of Liberty jerseys are elite. All right, we will give them their away jersey, I suppose. Yeah, it is 0-0, heading into period number three. Let us go. Zabinijad has it, and he is battling through a lot of our players right there. That was a madness. He managed to find his way through three Oilers players along the boards. And now he's hustling still. That guy is just a absolute worker. He is hustling out here. That is going to be a goal. Okay. That's a lovely way to start this period. Just a good shot by Panarin. Was I a little bit out of position? Possibly. Could have been. But regardless, what a shot. Oh, it's a Benajat trying to wind one up now. Fox with it. He's walking in. Did that hit like the, the stick? The broken stick maybe? I don't know what happened there. But that is my best guess. Getzlav who has retired. Okay, at least I was able to make a save on that Panarin shot. And now, we will be headed back the other way. Yamamoto does a couple dekes, but Igor will save that with ease. We are headed to the power play, though, which is splendid. I'm not sure where they took a penalty there, because nothing seemed like it was worth a penalty, but I'm not going to complain. Fire me vertical. Let's try to capitalize here. Well, that's not a good way to start by losing the draw. Why are they not sending the puck down the ice? I'm so confused. Really? Alright. Well, this is different. And now we just took a penalty, didn't we? Lovely. Alright, the Rangers kept it in. That will be stopped on the front doorstep. Wow, that was spooky. <laughs> I was not a fan of that. Nugent Hopkins has it along the boards. He gets past one guy and goes for a pass in the middle. It's four on four and now they dump it down. What's that all about? I'm going to pass that over to you. Get it past 15. And the Rangers are still in the lead here. 1-0. But, yeah. I feel like we, we do have a goal coming. It's brewing. You know? It's bound to happen. It's just a matter of when. And it's a matter of will we be tied when we get that goal? Or am I going to let in another one? And they will still have the lead. These are the questions we need to ask ourselves. Lafreniere with it. Okay. He didn't end up shooting it there. Another stop by TJ. Go to send it down the ice. And 
That was pure luck. Pool party goes back to nurse. And that will result in the Rangers heading back this way. Getzlav is in. He gets hit, tries to pass it, but Bouchard will be there to intervene on the Rangers master plan. All right, Nurse spins off and finds McDusty over to Druen. Here we go, lads. Come on. Let's get a goal. Let's tie this thing up here. I don't want to wait too long. If we score last second, I'm not down because <laughs> can't handle the stress. Nice try. Okay, Capo Caco going to pass it. My stomach is fuming. Wow, I'm hungry. All right, Rangers are in. Pool party will pick that off. Good job. All right, we need to get one here, guys. Come on. Lafreniere will dump it in, and they sort of left this side open, so I'll pass it there. Risky pass from McDavid, but Nurse will hand it off to Barry, who does a deke. Let's go. The defenseman rushing in. Down low. And back to Dano, who is breaking in. Nice try, but Igor will save that one, especially when you put it, you know, right in the chest area. I don't think that's much of a challenge for him. Let me obtain that real quick. Pass it back the way it came from. And Hyman will skate it behind the net. Headmans it to Dano, who enters the Ranger zone. Come on, boys. We can get one here. Hyman with it in the slot, but they jammed it up. And now Zabinijad has it, and he is carrying it down. A toe drag shot, and that will be kicked aside. How much time we got? Seven minutes. Oh my, that was almost a brutal hit from behind. But yeah, we still got a decent amount of time here. But we need to act relatively quick still. Oh my, that was a wonderful effort. And Shesterkin robbing us yet again. Wow, all right, nice interception, Hyman. Way to be in the right spot. Kravstov finds his way in the middle and rips it far side. I was at way too far on that one. That was not ideal. But he did miss the net quite miserably, I might add. Not to pour salt in the wound or anything, but just stating the obvious. Nice try, Ennis. Kreider now has the puck, which, by the way, he got like 50 goals this year. What an absolute legend. I don't know where that came from, but let's go Christopher Kreider. What a season from him. That's a big hit. If he scores here, <laughs> that would have been the ultimate play from Tarasenko. Makes a massive hit and then scores as well. Yeah, what a play. But no, we have two and a half to go here. We're still down by one. We can't seem to solve Shesterkin. Unless, oh no, Miller's there to pick it off. Okay, all right. We still have a little bit of time, but I am likely going to get pulled very soon. And that puts us up at a massive risk for an empty net goal. Oh, we're actually getting a power play. A minute 31 power play. It's probably going to be six on four. Wow, and we have Deno out there. Incredible. Why put McDavid and Drysidle out there when we have a power play in the final minute? And why pull your goalie? Why do that, you know? I wouldn't either, obviously. That's the easy decision to make. All right, well, I'm going to let this have a little hop, and I'll pass it over this way. Likely going to get pulled, I would think. Yeah, there we go. Who are they going to send out? It's got to be McDavid or Drysaddle, right? It has to be. Get me off the ice. Did they just take another one? Or did we get one? I think they got another. Oh, my word. It's six on three. If we don't capitalize here... We don't deserve to win. Unfortunately, I can't change the camera, so we're kind of just stuck here. But yeah, we do have dry sidle out there. We have 45 seconds of a... Is it a six on three? Or not? Did we take the penalty? Nope, it is them. I don't know why it's not... Is it not showing down there? Maybe because of the empty net, I guess, kind of trumps it. I don't know. Regardless, yeah, we have a glorious opportunity to tie this game up. But will we actually follow through? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we hit the post. Are you kidding me? The puck meets Irene. Barry has it again. Now Nuge with it. Back to Barry who takes a shot. Don't let them get it out. Ah, uh, that's probably going to do it. Ten seconds. I think we are done. Might get one final chance here, but we're not going to get anything great. Nurse with it. He takes a shot, and that will do it. A shutout for Igor. And a 1-0 game overall. 
Panarin had the only goal off that one shot. So I guess, yeah, both the goalies are going to be first and second star. Obviously, Igor takes first. And I will presume the second spot. What's going on, James? All right, at this time, let's get you caught up on all the action on the Please ice do. The Please Rangers do. The Rangers took to the road to match up with the Oilers. The New York Rangers talked a yeah. big game going in. They back it up sure with did. a clean sheet shutout win. Okay, yeah. The Sharks Just took rub on it the in. Sabres. San Jose turned it up to another level here in this one. Oh, and my stomach, the... man. Holy crap. The Rangers a dogfight on the road against the Blues. St. Louis pommels Holy, the opposition. Holy, it literally will not stop. offensive output. Okay, enough out of you, James. We have Arizona here. They are 30th in the league. We are 6-6. Well, six, six and oh, James, fun. enough. Boom. Okay, that's all right. Hmm, not all right. Not all right whatsoever. Yes! Great third period. Fire me up. Here's the three stars for that matchup. Let's continue. Still got to simulate three more games. And we have a conversation with McDuster. What's going on? Are we going to get coffee again? Or no? Nah? Uh, some of us are going to the Grand Canyon. Sure, I'd love to join you. And... No, nah, let's just go neutral. Let's just go neutral. I actually cannot believe my stomach right now. Like, this is out of control. It's literally been grumbling for the last, like, five minutes. Non-stop. Okay. Sim to next game. Battle of Alberta. We're not in for it, so that doesn't count as a simulated game. And we win, I think. We're not in against the Ducks here either. What the heck is going on? I feel like I started more games when I was a lower overall. All right. No, I'm skipping James. I'm spamming that button to skip him. All right, let's get yeah. all you... What the heck? How's that even possible? <laughs> anyway, first period. Nice. That's a good start. Second. Lovely. And boom. Great game. Great game all around. Here's your three stars. Bada bing, bada boom. That is our second simulated game. We're not in against the Blue Jackets either here. Can we take home a dub? No, we do not. 9-8, no. We're not doing so well right now. Jeez. Holy crap. I feel like we should be doing better than this. All right. And all right. And all right. Are you kidding me? Oh, my word. Classic. All right. Three stars. There you go. Blackwood with the first star, obviously, because he played phenomenal. And I did, too, up until the final 20 minutes there. Well, I mean, I only let him one goal and then the overtime, but... Regardless, conversation you with know, the coach. You better not. To in goal here for you better not. Because I have loved the way the youngster has played. Okay, he's good. He's been great so far. I, I really, I, I, he's far exceeded my expectations from what I thought I would see this year. But I'll tell you what, there is a long road to go. So I'm not ready to hand out any hardware just yet because, well, you know what? He might still hit a wall, right? Oh, Teams this is for a future reward. Some point down the stretch. But so far, so mm. very very good we can Big get sponge. thumbs up on my part but i'm not ready to hand out any hardware just yet all right let's get back to the phones here We've thanks got for that Danny james itching to get back in here on my okay so yeah we just had uh the opportunity to unlock the chance to earn a new x factor so let's see here um if we go to progress sponge so, yeah, we need to maintain an 890, and we need to get one single shutout. That's very doable. That is very doable. Okay. All right. I think I picked the easiest one, too, because there was other ones. It was like, get three shutouts and maintain a 900. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. The Winnipeg Jets. We are simulating game number three, I think. That's a good start. All right. And boom, 4 one. That is a game that you love to see. 964 from TJ, first star of the matchup. Let me simulate up to the next game here against the Wild. We're in for this one as well. Simulate it. So this will be our last game to simulate. 1-1. One, one, e. 3-1. And oh! What a third period comeback. 4-3 for the good guys. McDusty getting three points. Rossi and Boldy pulling their weight for the Wild there. Neat. Our next game is against Toronto, and we are in for it. So let's go ahead and view some stats, shall we? We are 11-8-1, which puts us third in the Pacific. Okay. The Golden Knights are kind of running away with this right now. Five points up. And, yeah, we're doing okay, though. We're all right here. That's acceptable. McDavid has 17-20. All right. 
We got 12 from Nuge, 11 from Yamamoto, 10 from Hyman, and Dry Sidles down here with 7 and a dash 10. What on earth is going on? Anyways, let's check out the goaltenders, shall we? 9 3 and 1 from TJ with a 9 20 and 2 14. Pretty solid. Pretty solid indeed. Fransuz is 2 5 and 0. Oh. This guy's losing games like crazy. But he has a 9 11 and 270. So he's doing all right back there, you know? He's not throwing by any means. Okay, let's check out the entire league, shall we? Just for fun. Entire league. So, Jake Ottinger right now has a 917. Vasilevsky with a 925. Vanacek with a 937. Uh, yeah, he has 12 wins so far for the Colorado Avalanche. And let us check out forwards. We're definitely not... Actually, I'll just go to all skaters. We're definitely not winning in this category right now because we do not even have a point-a-game player at the moment, which is... Ludicrous. I'm going to be honest. Lundestrom has 23. Good for him. Uh, Mac 25. Eichel 25. Ranton in 26. Sveshnikov with 28. Okay. Interesting. There you go. Line A. 90 overall. Wow. He really shot up. So, the team's doing okay. I mean, we're third in the division. 11, 8, and 1. I kind of want to say that Fran Suze is weighing us down because... 9-3-1, can't complain. And a 9-22-14, pretty solid from TJ so far this year. But the backup goalie not getting it done. Alright, well thank you guys for watching, I appreciate you, and I will see you soon.